Hey, hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm getting right into it. I wanted to discuss with you guys just products, my favorite hair products at the moment. And uh, that's, that's basically what this video is about. Also you guys, my routine is very simple. Protective styling is key for me and also just keeping a very simple routine simple products as well and just not doing the most is going to be key in retaining your length having a healthy scalp and overall just having healthy hair i don't think i have a lot of products but i mean you guys can get a judge of that it could be a lot worse i definitely calmed my nerves when it comes to products over the years or so because i just found out that having too many products was just it was just a nightmare i was spending money on crap that didn't work new releases were dropping in like 2020 2019 i'll just everywhere it was just always something new and i'm pretty sure they just repackaged it changed the scent on it and called it something new and i was buying it just spending so much money that and i couldn't really assess what those products were actually doing for my hair was i even benefiting from them and there was really no way i could tell because i kept switching products every two days you know what i mean so i have learned to keep things very simple and very easy <sighs> so now that i've said all that let's go ahead and get right into it all right you guys so my first product that is in my stash 24 seven and has been in my stash for maybe three or four years now is the African Pride Detangle and Condition Pre Shampoo. So it's this pre poo, it melts in my hair so easily. It gets all the tangles, all the knots out. And I always say whenever, which is very rare, that I show you guys my like wash days, this step is the number one it's number one of importance to me is my pre poo and getting all the tangles all that stuff out of my hair there's no point of going into the shower with your hair matted it's tangled up it just it just doesn't work and if you haven't used it i highly recommend you try it everything that i mentioned today is linked down below i get my pre poo off of amazon in a three pack so that i always have one you know in my stash but going straight in the next product i will always follow up with and that i'm loving right now as well is my Adua Blue Tansy Shampoo. This shampoo is like no other. It literally just cleanses my hair so well, but it doesn't strip my hair. It's the perfect balance. I love it, Darren loves it, Isaiah loves it. It's just some really good stuff. Y'all, I almost forgot about this, but it is a, another really great cleansing option for your hair and your scalp. It is the Bread Mud Mask. It's a detox for your hair. I tried this in December and I was like, wow it is so much better so much better than using that bentonite aztec you know the white one that we all use i'll put it up here um with apple cider vinegar and all that kind of stuff i found using that just really stripped my hair and it ended up making my hair i felt like just on the drier side like yeah curls will pop it and all that kind of stuff but at what cost and it didn't matter if I followed up with the conditioner, leave-in conditioner. I just felt like it, at some point, it just wasn't the best option for my hair. And I just recently tried this bread and I'm in love with it. It is, of course, a clay mask. You apply it to your scalp and then, of course, your hair. But it is such a great detox treatment and scalp treatment. I highly recommend just giving this a chance, trying it out, and maybe comparing it to the Aztec and just See what happens, see what you think. So next you guys are conditioners. My first one is my deep conditioner, which is the Adua deep conditioner. I am in love with this stuff. It is just so good. This is also from um, their new Blue Tansy collection. I have absolutely fallen in love with this collection and so has my hair. It's nice and thick. Make sure your hair is pretty damp, like pretty wet, like not like dripping crazy, but you don't wanna towel dry your hair completely with this particular um, deep conditioner because I found that you use a lot of product and this is not cheap, but if it's nice and kind of wet, you know what I mean? It just goes on much more smoother and you're using less product as well. It makes my hair so moisturized. It feels really strong after this and using it nonstop, you guys. When I love something and I know it's beneficial for my hair, 
I'm not gonna switch it out. And then next, you guys, <laughs> this has been a staple for me for years as well. I love it for my hair. Darren loves it. I put it in Isaiah's hair. We all use it. So whenever I buy it, I get the really big bottle from Target and this mug lasts us for so long. So if my hair is in a protective style like braids, mini twists, something like that, cornrows, this is so easy to just spray in. I know my hair is gonna be moisturized. At one point I was not using it and I noticed a difference and I was like, oh no ma'am. This is probably my favorite spray leave-in um conditioner if you have one that you would recommend that you love let me know down in the comments of course with any of this if there's anything that you absolutely love please let me know so i can look at it i may not pick it up but i want to look at it put it on my list of things to try whenever i run out of you know certain products so next you guys is a product that i've had since this summer but up until some months ago i really just started using it over and over again and i've noticed such a huge change in my hair my hair just always feels so soft so soft and moisturized it just feels so freaking good and i'm gonna contribute a whole lot of that to this product this is the basque moisture cream i've been loving using my hair using my hair using this in my hair you guys um if i'm just doing like braids or a couple twists in my hair um lately i've been loving just wearing my hair in just like two french braids just going backwards and i will slather this all up and through it and it is just oh it is so awesome i don't know why it took me so long to really commit you know to using this product and seeing um what it would do to my hair but so far i'm loving it the benefits are amazing this is really the only cream i use at the moment i just i can't get enough of this bass moisture cream so next let's talk about oils. My oil consumption is pretty low <laughs> to be honest. Um, I don't use a lot of it, especially on my scalp. I don't like go in and just put it all on there. I use very small amounts and then I really do a really great massage with that oil. But the oils that I do use are right here. So the first one is, well actually these both are by Tropical Isle, these two right here. One has been my holy grail for about, I don't know, 10 years now. It's the Jamaican black castor oil. Um, I get this off of Amazon. I've been getting mine off of Amazon. I love Jamaican black castor oil for my hair. It's nice and thick. You don't need a lot of it, but a little bit goes a long way. This was one of the products, if not the product, with of course just proper hair care, but definitely one of the products that I attribute to growing my hair back when I lost my edges <laughs> when i had isaiah five years ago they pulled him out of me and my edges went along with it and i was like good gracious i got bald spots and i massaged this stuff in like clockwork this was awesome um i did try and use some of those like stimulating drops you know geared towards edges like i think camille rose had them and then i've seen other people come out with them eh they didn't really do much for me. I'd rather just stick to one product that I know and see results from there. And so far, so good with this one. I, my arm is killing me. I got my booster shot yesterday and my arm is ooh, it's hurting. Anyways, the next one that I just picked up again, I actually used this, I want to say some years ago. And I don't remember if I liked it or not, but I was like, I'm going to try it again because I don't think I hated it. But it's the Red Pimento Hair Growth Oil. I've been using this as well. You can use any of these as, as like directly to the scalp or to seal your hair or as hot oil treatment. So keep that in mind. That's another one. And then this one I actually have been using on Isaiah's hair. I love the smell of it and I love her. I just love the way she does hair. It is the Jew Poppin. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, but she has her own line of products as well, but it's infused with rosemary and lavender. It gives the nice scent, but I love applying this to Isaiah's scalp. Don't forget little black boys need some oil on their scalp too, because I know I forget. So I love to just take the little dropper and just drop a few on his scalp, give him a little massage, and he's good to go and be destructive because that's just what he does. I do have somewhere around here a, like a little bottle like this, um, and it has every oil 
in it. It has every single thing that I own, but it has Jamaican black castor oil in it. I think it has a little bit of this in it. It has jojoba oil in it, the olive oil. I have some oil from Brunch Hair Care. Um, that's a black owned company, but it has that in it. I just like to mix it all up and I just apply my oil every like two days or so. And that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, so just a few more products left in this video. So next I'm gonna talk about my edge control. I love this combination. It is my absolute favorite. This is my Black Panther edge control. I use this like all of 2020. It's freaking amazing. And I they're actually in stores now. When I was buying them, they were not in stores and all I could do was get on Amazon. So I just saw them when I was in Houston last month. I saw them at the beauty supply and I was so excited. I was like, yay, y'all get these stores. This is a really good edge control. It holds pretty well, but the thing I love about it the most um, and the reason why I went back to this one in particular was because I don't get a whole bunch of buildup with this one. Um, I don't need a lot of it either. And more than anything, I don't get any cast. Like I don't get white cast flaking, none of that kind of stuff with the Black Panther edge control. And honestly, I feel like it works well with my edges. Like it's not pulling them out. It's not too hard. They're growing really well because they took a tumble like last year. I had noticed they were kind of thinning out a bit and so I switched things up um, as well as like just wigs and things like that because these V parts I've been loving but um, this was one of the things I switched up as well and I just I think it's really gentle but it does a really good job on my hairline so I've been rocking this one um, I just picked mine up on Amazon and of course I say it all the time especially in my wig videos I always pair it with my blue lagoon gem you guys I actually started using this gel because I saw Jackie Ina use it like two years ago I was curious and so I bought it and so here we are I can't get enough of this I'm pretty sure I've ordered like five of these since then but a little bit goes a long way the thing is though with this particular gel I never use it by itself I always pair this gel with another gel so I will put this on first and then I will put this on kind of like to hold it I don't really use too much heat like as far as flat ironing my hair except for when I'm doing like a V part like this or if I am blow drying which I've really started to blow dry once a month and at most probably twice a month um, but I use the silk elements it's an oldie but a goodie and I also use the bio silk silk therapy another oldie but goodie as far as heat protectants go I do want to also mention this before you go and before I go and get out of here get my baby from the bus stop I mentioned vitamins and just keeping your body how it's supposed to be um, I try and mention this often as as often as I can so I do take my iron I just bought some new fish oils and I do have liquid iron right here take these along with my like daily multivitamin I don't go super crazy with vitamins but I try and do the best that I can when I remember but just remember what you put on the inside is going to show on the outside also always remember if there's some issues going on with your hair as far as hair loss or whatever the case may be don't be afraid and don't be embarrassed to talk to your doctor and don't feel like it's superficial or whatever you may think talk to them and just see what happens because you never know what's going on internally that's showing on the outside but yeah you guys other than that that is it that's all I got to talk about for now for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions any suggestions any products that you like please let me know I hope this was helpful like always and I will talk to you guys in my next video Bye.